Hi, my name is Fanan Rosu, and the title of my presentation is called The Impact of the COVID-19 Pandemic on the Relationship Between Neighborhood Deprivation and Perceived Changes for Pain-Related Experiences Among U.S. Patients with Chronic Low Back Pain. Shifting to the introduction, disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic have the potential to disproportionately affect the health of vulnerable populations, including patients experiencing persistent health conditions, uh, such as chronic pain, as well as populations living within deprived and lower socioeconomic areas. Uh, the objective of the current cross-sectional study, then, was to characterize relationships between uh, neighborhood deprivation uh, and index of uh, socioeconomic status, as well as perceived changes in pain-related experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, particularly between early September to mid-October 2020. Shifting to the methods, uh, participants in this study included adults, approximately 97, with confirmed nonspecific chronic low back pain who were actively seeking professional health care and were presenting with at least moderate pain, so pain that was equal to or greater than 4 on a numerical rating scale, uh, as well as presenting with low back pain-related disability of 24 or greater on the Oswest Street Disability Index. Regarding the primary outcome measures of interest in the study, it included the patient global impression of change scale from March 1st of 2020, or around the time that the COVID-19 pandemic was considered a national emergency. Now, the changes that we were interested in included changes of pain severity, pain interference, sleep quality, mood, social support, pain coping, and the ability to manage pain. Shifting to figure one, we can see the two maps where the current study took place. The first site included Salt Lake City, and the second site included Baltimore, Maryland. Now, these two maps are displaying neighborhood deprivation, or the area deprivation index. Now, we use the area deprivation index, or ADI, to quantify each participant's level of neighborhood deprivation according to the current residence's nine-digit household zip code that we were treat from the electronic medical record. Now the ADI is a robust measure of social deprivation that accounts for 17 social and material deprivation metrics including education, employment, housing quality, and poverty. Now the ADI values are calculated by the sum of each socioeconomic factor multiplied by its predetermined factor coefficient for a particular geographic area. Now, ADI scores for the entire U.S. are then ranked from lowest to highest and then divided into percentiles. In the current study, ADI values for each participant were divided into three tertiles referred to as low ADI or low neighborhood deprivation, a moderate ADI, and then high ADI or high neighborhood deprivation. Larger values on the ADI suggest greater neighborhood deprivation and are signified by red. Lower deprivation are signified by a darker blue. Now shifting to the conclusions, in summary, there were no significant differences for perceived changes in pain-related experiences, particularly pain severity, pain interference, and sleep quality between levels of neighborhood deprivation since the onset of the pandemic. However, those in neighborhoods with greater deprivation, they endorsed disproportionately worse perceived changes in pain coping, social support, and mood since the pandemic. Moreover, those in the neighborhood with greater deprivation endorse significantly poorer physical health, uh, particularly pain severity, pain interference, and physical functioning, as well as mental health in the form of depressive symptoms and anxiety symptoms, and social health during the pandemic. Now, the current findings offer evidence that changes in pain coping during the pandemic may be disproportionately worse for those living in deprived areas, and the current findings suggest the need for further attention and further intervention to reduce the negative effect of the pandemic for one vulnerable populations who live in greater deprived neighborhoods or experiencing greater uh, socioeconomic challenges.